So the call went really well. I'm in the sauna right now, that's why it's so dark. Talked for about an hour, and basically they're looking for someone. They have three candidates right now, I'm one of three. And what I think they're gonna do is because they like all the candidates, they might run a test trial, like pick two of the three, give them $500 in ad spend as a budget, and run them against each other. So me versus someone else, whoever does better, gets hired for the job. Which is pretty cool, actually. If nothing else, I get experience, right? And yeah, so I came to the gym afterwards. It's freezing out. It's like fucking 10 degrees out here in New Jersey. So I got into the sauna to heat my body up, and I was like, I'm gonna go work out. But I started listening to a podcast, a marketing, Facebook marketing podcast, and uh, I might honestly just sit in here for like 45 minutes and listen to it and then go home. My body's like super tired right now. Usually when I come to the gym, I have no preset of what I'm gonna be doing, right? I just, oh, my chest is still kind of sore, my shoulders are sore, my legs are sore, whatever, and I'll do stuff based on, you know, how I feel. So let the toxins sweat out from last weekend, and then uh, maybe like tomorrow early, I'll, I'll get up and do like a, a bodybuilding kind of workout, like a chest titty Friday. Sweep a baby, got ready to let it go. It's Friday. Ain't that the best when you go into the car? You don't even have to put Bluetooth on, it's just some fucking songs are bumping on the radio. It's gonna be a good weekend. It's New Year's Eve weekend. Welcome back to the vlog, of course. Ooh, there's too much sun going on, too much sauce. Yeah, welcome back to the vlog, week 42, I think it is. On my way to the gym, packed up all my clothes and everything. I'm gonna hit Starbucks immediately afterwards. So we're gonna put in a full work day. Tomorrow we're going full send. I'm going to Hoboken about 12 o'clock, so a little bit out of bounds. And Sunday, I'm going to a house party for New Year's Eve. I don't know, that's it, I'm just talking spit right now. Welcome you back to the video. Welcome Welcome you back to the channel. About to get this workout in, and uh, that's that. Since we're skipping forward a year, I figured we'd bring a bike. I got a Polaroid camera. They make them weird nowadays. They don't got like the regular Polaroid where you just take a pic and it comes out. You gotta buy like one of these newer. This is the Fujifilm Instax Mini 9. It was like 60 bucks, like 14 bucks for film. It's 20 Polaroids, like 20 pics. Woo. This is what it looks like. Really light. It actually runs on batteries, which is wild. Where do I put the bats in battery lid with 19? Where art thou? Hey, pretty sure we just stick film in this thing. Let me turn this thing on. It's in the computer? I'm flustered. Ooh, what did I just do? I'm so dumb. I'm like looking into the battery case right here. Oh no, I don't think I was supposed to do that. There's no film even in this thing. How do I turn you off? Oh shit. I got tea boiling up. The other day, I left it on, I put the tea on, was in my room doing work, and like a half hour later, I remembered it was on. And I got in here, and it was, all the water was evaporated. It was fucking nuts. The damn thing anyways. Just open your mind and be history, Kendrick. I don't think people understand how good, good Kid Mad City was. All right, back to the Polaroids. Put it back in. So my first picture is gonna be gonna be a selfie style picture. Me and my camera. There it is. I'm just gonna leave it sitting here. We'll fast forward it. This is what you're supposed to do. This is a couple minutes later. It actually came out pretty dope. Except for my dumbass face I'm making. I don't know why I always do that in pictures. It's a pretty cool little accessory. So overall, it was like, I think it was like 60 bucks. The film is like $12 for 20 pictures. So overall, like eight, it's 75 bucks. I think the quality came out well. They're small. They're like three inches up and two inches that way. I dig it. Good perch eye by me. Just 
Steve. Reaction of Bright. Fuck. Bright? He's gonna win his Oscar. He's getting his Oscar. Has he not won one? No. He didn't win one like a Pursuit of Happiness? No. Really? It was the same year of like an epic fucking movie. <laughs> that beats. You think Bright takes it home? Best picture? Or just Fuck. best actor? Think the Orc gets best supporting actor? Probably, Black Girl at the end gets best supporting actress? It probably will go down as one of the best movies of our time. Which which one of Will Smith's wives gets best supporting actor? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe they just switched him up at the end there. Uh, nobody would notice. I'm mad. Why even show her? I used to think the same. Jay's on pink and ring. Dog these hoes, I need quarantine in the same league. It's snowing out, this bitch! Yeah, we're really going into Hoboken today. And it's going to be about 13 degrees. With snow, yeah, I feel like I'm playing the goddamn Alamo Bowl. Little, uh, New Year's resolutions, what do we got? Oh! Hit Steve good? Moore. What? Steve? Hit Steve Hit Steve Moore. Hit Steve Moore. Steve. Out, of your, out of your jurisdiction? Yeah. Are they good? He died. What's the last one you've ever made? Okay. Mine is to eventually uh, find a place. 2017 is officially in the books. What time is it? 3.17 a.m. January 1st, 2018 is here. 2017 was a weird year. There was uh, a lot of... Well, first, let me show you my sweatshirt, first of all. This shit was fucking epic. If you're 29 or younger, and you don't even know what this shirt's about, you're a, f you're a fraud. You don't know about the crust of crab pizza. Anyhow, 2018, 2017... Talk about 2017. You know, it's so crazy how much happens in a year. I go into the new year and I think about all the shit that happened in the year prior. And I'm like, all the things that you never expected to happen, they happen, right? And then you're like, I have another full year that's about to happen. And that, not the same things are going to happen, but the same amount, like the same level of good, bad, weirdness, craziness, like productivity, same level of like love you gave out, friends you made, whatever you went through, right? I did a lot in the last year. I left my job and started this whole thing within 2017. And a lot's happened for all of you guys probably too that watch this shit. So think about it. Like the amount of crazy shit that's happened in the last year, the same same level of that is going to happen again next year, right? But not the same thing. So it's stuff you can't plan for, stuff you can't even imagine, right? But you just got to keep an open mind and open heart and just know that like have a positive mindset when it comes to everything. Meeting new people, new relationships, new jobs. Be happy. Keep good morals. Keep high respect for yourself. Work fucking hard. Don't lie about about shit and you'll be fine just keep high morals and you'll be good as a person i'm kind of drunk right now but i'm just i feel like preaching so that's where we're at right now it's 3 15 had a good new year's eve went 13 and 0 on the pong table with my boy steen that's what we do i mean i gotta think of some new year's resolutions i want to hammer out i feel like resolutions and goals are different in the sense that resolutions i don't know resolutions i feel like are stuff that you want to stop doing goals are things that you set for yourself that you strive towards I feel like res a lot of people are like resolutions i want to lose weight or i want to stop fucking calling my ex or some bullshit like that so i feel like resolutions are more so like things that you want to leave behind leave that shit in 2017 move forward to 2018 like goals are a whole different thing you should be setting goals on a weekly monthly even daily basis if you need to be think about things that you've done in the last year right each year you try to get better as a person grow as a person physical emotional spiritual whatever the fuck you're talking about think about things you did over the last year and you be like this was not good for me this is not productive Saying who I want to be in the year coming. So you leave that shit in the past. You resolve. You resolve your body of that bullshit, right? And that's how you move forward in life. I don't even know if this camera is on anymore. I feel like I'd be preaching some some preachiarities right now. Let me check. Oh yeah, we in it. We in the spit right now. So yeah, I ain't gonna talk about how I went 13 and 0 in beer punk tonight or anything. God damn, this year was long. With my job, I started uh, my own marketing thing. Dealt with a lot of shit. An emotional roller coaster. A turmoil, a little heartbreak, a little plenty of good, plenty of bad. By the way, Polaroid camera I fucking brought was a hit. And you know what's the problem? Man, I'd be taking all these Polaroid camera pictures and ain't nobody want to give me them. I take such good pictures and everyone's like, yeah, I want to keep that. I want to, I want to, I took pictures of myself. I took pictures of me and my friends and the person who houses it is, is like, this shit is so good. I want to put it on my fridge. She's not even in the goddamn picture. Oh, I got one. That's me and my boy, Danny Baker. That's Steen right there. That's Christina right there. Her eyes popping in there. That's her house. That's whose house we was at tonight. She got some good pictures of me freaking gargoyle that moment. Let me show you a picture of me gargoyling. There's no way this shit is making it on, on the vlog. I'm faded. Should I put the boomstick on? No, it's almost 4 o'clock. That's an epic picture. Man. Like, what the fuck is that? What was I taking a picture of there? It looks like a deer eye. Ooh. That's all I gotta fucking say. I'm done with you. Peace out. Go to sleep. I hope y'all had a good New Year's. See y'all in 20, 2020. 2020. My Vladimir Guerrero year. I'm 25 right now. The blow up. The glow up. 
as my friend Brandon would say. When I'm 27, 2020, don't talk to me before August 24th, 2020. The blow up's gonna be real. The blow up's gonna be monumental, possibly global. All I gotta say is the big dogs are, we're taking care of the fam by 2020. I owe it to them. I owe it to my mama. I mean everything I'm saying right now. I gotta leave Margs in 2017. I gotta do it for the sake of my body. It's such a lie. We started off with Margs. Before I know it, we're putting Margs in our beer cup cups. Our beer pong cups. Just ran out and got iced coffee. I went and bought Advil. We we're out of Advil. I think about five of those. I rarely get ugh, headaches from hang hangovers, but 90% of the time, the reason you're hungover, you feel shitty from hangovers is because you're super dehydrated. So if you just chug a bunch of water bottles, I already chugged like four, but I'm gonna do another one right now for y'all. Twenty eighteen. Drink a lot of water. I'm about to cook up some breakfast. We're making some eggs. I'm still on my egg kick from California. I'm gonna make a big ass smoothie. My snickerdoodle spinach smoothie. That shit tastes mwah. If you've never tried it, you have to do it. I actually made a video. I'm gonna link it here. But if it doesn't show up there, that means I was too lazy to link it. You can just go on my channel, type in the search box, type in snickerdoodle. This shit is incredible, super healthy, really good for you. Oh, we even have berries. Let's go. If you wanna make a thicker shake? Use frozen berries as opposed to regular strawberries. Merry Christmas, Merry Chrysler. Would you like eggs? Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna have to clean the fucking pan. I'm making a smoothie. Are hey, you hung over? Yes. What time did you get home? Porter line 3, 3.30. Who's day, everybody? Oh, dude, I, wait, hold on, I actually gotta show you this. This is him in the, in the Uber. He almost got out of Dunkin' Donuts on the bottom of Ackerman to go walk to Cool Beans. Why? Do you think he's, he's, he's so stupid? Dude, Thanksgiving Eve after we hung out. I love doing this, <laughs> to open shots. Steve's already walking in my fucking house. 2018. 2018. stop. 2018, take this, this shit. This hasn't stopped since 2010. Yeah, you're gonna be here till 2020. you like 2020. You don't need to work on no like, oh, word? My, my flag Guerrero, yours gonna. Do you drink that whole thing? Mm -hmm. Do you not eat or drink anything for the rest of the day? It's not even that much. Mm -hmm. It's, it's, it's what it takes it. Fills you up, there's a lot of fiber and protein in it. it fills you up for a while, but. Wow. It's really good. That's delicious. See? I told y'all, drink spinach 2019. <laughs> Peaky blinders. All right, all right, all right. It's like 4, 4.45, Wednesday afternoon. Just having a quick lay down. And I got up at like 6.30 this morning. Worked, went to the gym, ran a couple errands. I have to get on a call in about 15 minutes. I'm not looking forward to it all. On a call with a software company. And the software company is designed to help you create quizzes. Quizzes are a way that you could generate leads if you're in the marketing. So think about when you're on, when you're scrolling down Facebook, right? And you see one of those, which Harry Potter character are you or some shit, right? Those get a ton of engagement. People click on them. So that's also a very good way to get leads through different industries. Say you're in the auto industry, you create a quiz, right? You're a Facebook marketer working for an auto agency. See how much your car is worth. Or if you're a restaurant, right? What kind of pizza are you or some shit? Like if you're a pizzeria, people will take that. You can capture their information, right? Like at the end of the quiz, say, hey, throw in your email, we'll send you the results. Or enter your first name and last name and we'll show you like right here on the page what kind of pizza you are. From there, you have it captured and you can advertise back to them. Or you could send them a coupon when the quiz is finished. Say, like, hey, you just found out what kind of pizza you are. Here's a 20% off coupon to the local Antonio's Pizzeria. So I'm getting on a call because this is a software I'll be able to use for some of my clients for lead generation purposes. I believe in the beginning of this video, I was talking about how, how I had that interview, right? With the real estate education company. I just got an email back from them about 15 minutes ago saying they wanna move forward with me along with one other person. We're gonna run like a test, basically. Me versus that person. $1,000 in ad spend over the next six weeks. So this could be another longtime client for mine. That's what's going on right now with me. Make a cup of green tea, hop on this call, and afterwards I'm gonna get back into Peaky Blinders. I love Peaky Blinders. Great show on Netflix, by the way, if anyone's looking for a show. I didn't even know the new season came out. Shame on y'all for not telling me. I'm starting to get wrinkles too. I guess I gotta start like doing my, washing my face more or like using exfoliating cream. But I don't know if that fits there or not. Right or wrong answers, that kind of stuff. Personality is a lot more like those BuzzFeed style quizzes that you see out there and it's definitely our most popular quiz type you know, like what type of blank are you be a way where you can actually assign weight or score to each of your answers i typically see this one being used a lot in like the b2b sales cycle you know how effective is your marketing team so 
So we got a lot of snow last night and it's still snowing right now. Three inches on the ground right now. It's still coming down as you can see. I can't see shit. I don't know why. I decided to go to the gym this morning. I was like, yeah, you know what? It's got some new tires on my whip. This thing's gonna cruise around. Little did I know, my windshield wipers are just trash. Every time I move the car, a little swerve sign comes on. There you go, see? Every time I do that, I hit a little dab behind the camera dabbing right now. Let them know I'm swerving on them. Yeah, we got a little snow day today. You know what's funny? All my friends and shit will be like, oh my God, I like I hope I don't have to go into work or I could work from home and stuff. And that was like my favorite thing ever when I used to work in like the office in New York or in New Jersey or whatever. Work from home days were the best, right? Because you don't have to go in, you can stay in your pajamas. And now I'm working from home, so it's like it's more of a hassle because everyone expects to relax. But I, you know, I work like I don't really get the snow day thing, but I remember you as an adult are 500 percent more excited about a work snow day than you were about a school snow day, especially if you have a bad commute. I hope everyone stays safe in the Northeast today. I'm about to get home. It's like 11.20 a.m. right now. I'm gonna shovel my driveway. I thank God that my driveway, I thank God that I probably have the smallest house in Emerson. My driveway is like a square, 12 by 12 foot. I shovel it out, and then I'm going over to the girl who I've been seeing, who I haven't introduced y'all to yet. I'll bring over some hot chocolate for the family, you know, win some brownie points and whatnot. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to make it there. I'm not even gonna be able to get up my driveway. When I was driving home, I saw so many cars just like swerving all over the place. It was epic. I wish I got that on camera. I'm a fool. We in the driveway now, and now I got a shovel. I'm sick. <laughs> Yeah, so if you've watched any of my, basically any of my style, fashion, whatever, ASOS is probably my favorite store site to shop on in the world. They're a UK based company. They have a huge selection of clothing anywhere from like really cheap stuff to really expensive stuff. Everything is free shipping. Everything is free return. So you could drop, I just got about eight pairs of jeans, probably only four pairs of jeans, but got them in different sizes. So I, I, if I found a pair of jeans I really liked on the website, I'd order them in two or three sizes because it's all free return shipping. That bag, you peel it off, put your shit back inside, the stuff that you don't want, and they have self-strip peels, those little green, that little green strip. You take that off, stick it back on, throw the return label back in, boom, and you return it for free. So they make it super easy. That's gonna wrap up the vlog for this week. As always, if you enjoyed, scroll down, find where they have this button and that button. Click this one, please. I would greatly appreciate that. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you are new. We'll be back next Saturday, of course, as always. And uh, I'll see you then.